Good morning, brothers and sisters. Brother Will here. Um, so I'm coming on here with an urgent message because uh, the Lord woke me up basically at 4 a.m., 3.45, something like that, and gave me this message to um, make this video. And how many of you know that the Holy Spirit is greater than algorithms and anything on social media? And so if you are getting this video, maybe someone sent it to you, maybe it popped up on your YouTube, maybe it auto-played, um, and you're in a place where you're hurting, where you're desperate, where you're alone, where you're at the end of yourself, I am here to tell you there's good news. I'm here to tell you that you can be free. I'm here to tell you you can have abundant life. I'm here to tell you that the truth is real, that eternal life is real. And who that truth is and the way to that eternal life is Jesus. Jesus the Christ in Hebrew, Yeshua HaMashiach. I'm sure you've heard that name before, but I'm not associated with any church. I, my channel's not monetized. I'm not looking for, for anything from you. I'm here because I am sent. I am sent from the King himself, from the Lord Jesus, to do his work, to, to come and find his children, uh, my fellow brothers and sisters. And so if you're, or if, you, if you're listening to this video, this video, this is an appointed moment for you where the Holy Spirit is, is knocking on, on your heart's door. And this is gonna be a glorious day for you. And this is gonna be a quick video. So listen, this is the Bible, okay? I know you've seen it before. You've probably heard some passages from it. You've heard people say various things about it. I'm here to tell you, this is God's word. He put it here. Over the course of thousands of years, he put it together in the Hebrew language, in the Greek language, the amount of confirmations in here are countless, countless, not only with the languages, but also with the numbers, okay, the numbers of the words. Um, I can't get into all that right now because that's not the important thing. The important thing is who this book is talking about, and that is Jesus. That is your Savior. That is your everlasting God the one name under heaven whereby we must be saved. Let me put it to you this way. You know how a black and white movie is, you notice, and, and the, the thumbnail for this video is gonna be black and white. You know how a black and white movie, um, it's, all, it's all grays, right? It's all grays. When they filmed that back in the day, do you think the actors were wearing white? Do you think the actors were wearing all gray or all, all black or what have you? Do you think the, the walls of the buildings or anything were all gray? No. They were a color. They when the, when the when the video was shot, when the film was shot, it was all in color, okay? If you haven't come to Jesus yet, you've been walking through life in black and white. Spiritual blindness. I'm telling you, open your eyes. When the Holy Spirit opens your eyes, everything is in color. It all makes sense. You were made for a purpose. You were created for a purpose. This book, one story, one full story, and that story is about our King Jesus. Yes, you know that it's, it began in the Garden of, good, of, of, of Eden with the tree of good and evil, knowledge of good and evil, and the tree of life. And Adam and Eve sinned, okay? They rebelled against God. They did what God told them not to do. However, from the very beginning, Jesus, it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Through him all things were made. Jesus was there in the beginning at creation, and he already had the solution before, he, before Adam and Eve ever sinned, and he already had the solution for your life, okay? So that's in Genesis. We go through all the Old Testament, all the Old Testament is talking about what Jesus will be when the Messiah comes, that he is coming. All these prophecies, okay, that the Messiah is coming. Then Jesus shows up in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and he walks on this earth perfectly man, perfectly God, the God-man, both simultaneously part of the Trinity. Okay, we have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, by the way, 
was in the beginning as well, hovering above the waters. The Spirit of God hovered above the waters. Okay, they've all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit have been there all along, okay? This book tells their full story, okay? And tells, and is your story. You just have to receive it. You are in this book if you receive the truth that he is who he says he is, okay? In the Gospels, Jesus is is walking on the earth. He took the penalty for your sin. All of us, all of us have messed up. All of us have sinned countless times. We can't even recount the amount of times that we have sinned, that we have done wrong, that we haven't been what we were created to be, that we've hurt other people, hurt ourselves. Jesus knew all that before you ever took your first breath. And he paid the price for all of that so that you could walk a redeemed life, so that you could walk in newness of life, that you could be born again. The, the whole New Testament after the Gospels talks about how to live that Christian life. It talks about all of the blessings that we now have as a part of this new life. And the final book, Revelation, talks about Jesus coming again. Everything in this book has taken place. And we are coming, except Revelation, there are parts in Revelation, there are other parts of other books as well, that are coming to fruition in the last days. Um, but we are at that moment. That is the urgency I'm coming on here with for you today. I am here to tell you, brother or sister, to tell you, you who are despairing, that you're at, you're at the end, you don't know you don't know where your next meal is coming from. Maybe you don't know how you're going to get through your day because you're so depressed. You don't know how to, um, you're just at the end of yourself. You don't know what you're going to do. I'm here to tell you this life, this entire life is the first step of eternity. This entire life is the first step of eternity. And I want to make sure the Holy Spirit is giving me this urgency today to come to you to make sure that that first step is with him. If you make that first step with him, then you have all of eternity to be at peace, to be full of joy, to be full of abundant life, eternal life, living out your eternal purpose. Let's get on board with that eternal purpose today. Let's step into that eternal purpose today. And and there's there's not some huge thing you have to do. It says in the word, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It says in John 3:3, 3, 3, no man can see the kingdom of heaven unless he is born again. What does that mean, born again? It means, go back to that black and white that I was mentioning earlier. It means to be bo spiritually born. To have all of your, the, the flesh, okay? We talk about flesh. That is our sinful man, okay? That is the, the, the Adam, when he sinned. All of us were born into sin because of what Adam did when he rejected God's command, okay? And sin came into the world. We're all born under that. But Jesus came so that we can be born into his spirit, born of the spirit, okay? And um, it talks also about, you know, when the wind blows, you can't see where the wind's coming from, but you can feel it. So it is for those born of the spirit, for those who are born again. We are moved by, there's, why else would I go to four o'clock in the morning and come to a video? I'd much rather be sleeping right now, but actually I don't want to be sleeping because I want to do what the Holy Spirit is urging me to do. And I'm here for you, for you, because we are in the last moments, guys. The thief on the cross, you may have heard this story. A thief, okay, he was on the cross by Jesus, had lived a, sin, a sinful life, okay? At, with his very f last few breaths, he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. What was he doing? He was confessing that Jesus is Lord. By saying when he comes to your kingdom, he's he's saying with his mouth, you are the king, you are the Lord. He's confessing with his mouth, he is Lord. And he was saying that out of a place of belief. He believed in his heart that Jesus was who he said he was. That is the question you're faced with in this moment right now today. You're faced with the question, Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart. 
Who do you say I am? If you say he's Lord, if you receive what he did for you, which is he paid the penalty for all your sin, all you have to do is receive the fact that he paid your debt. Receive it. Receive it, and the Holy Spirit will the Holy Spirit will come into you, and you will be born again, and you will walk and live according to the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Why do I have this urgency? Because like I said, we are in the last days. And when I say last days, I mean last days. I mean handful of years left on this earth before it's a brand new heaven and a brand new earth. There is an event coming. You may have heard the term rapture. Rapturo in Latin, harpazo in Greek. The rapture, types and shadows of the rapture are all through scripture. You, say, you may have heard people say, oh, that's that wasn't in scripture. Where is that? Find it, blah, blah, blah. Enoch walked with God and was no more. He was taken before the flood. Elijah was taken up in a chariot, a fiery chariot of horses, right? We have these types and shadows. Um, Lot from Sodom and Gomorrah was delivered. The angels literally took them out of the city before destruction came. And you go, for 2,000 years, you know, we haven't seen anything supernatural like that. Well, before the flood came, it had never rained on the earth before. Before the hailstones came and destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, nothing like that had ever happened before. Um, I can give you, I don't want to keep going on and on and on. You have to, it's a, it's a place where you have to just believe in your heart that God is who he says he is, that Jesus is who he says he is. And when you do, that peace that surpasses all understanding will flood your heart and mind. I want you to have that peace. I want you to know that, that your entire life is the first step of eternity. That if you haven't come to Jesus before, you've been walking through this life in in spiritual blindness. It's been black and white. The color was always there. The spiritual realm has been there all along. The Lord Jesus has been beside you all along, knocking on the door of your heart, saying, I'm here. Take my hand. Take his hand. So just take a moment. I'm going to end this video because I, I feel like I've said what, what the Lord wanted me to say and you, people have heard similar things from a lot of different pe people. But today, this message, however I said it, the Holy Spirit through me, however we just said it, was for you to hear. And now, it's up to you to respond. And and you don't have to, you don't have to go to a particular place or, or do anything. You have to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that He is who He says He was, and you have to believe in your heart. That God raised him from the dead. And you will be saved. And if you do that, if you believe that, if you take this moment and come, finally come to the end of yourself and receive what Jesus did for you. If you do that, you'll have the Holy Spirit living within you. You'll be born again. And I would encourage you to, to go find a Bible. Go to the Gospel of John, the book of John, and just start reading. You don't need someone else to unfold scripture to you. The Holy Spirit, if you if you believe the Holy Spirit is within you, the Holy Spirit will speak to your heart and mind, and he will teach you. He will guide you into all truth. So I pray in faith that you will do that and that you have just done that, brother or sister. And if so, share, share this. Share this with someone else. And actually, if you don't share the video, just share what you have just decided. Tell your friend, tell your family members, hey, you know what? I finally, I took a moment and I got right with Jesus. And and I have the Holy Spirit within me and I'm going to walk with Jesus the rest of my days. That's what it, that's what it is to be a believer. So God bless you, brother or sister. God bless you. May you walk according to his spirit according to his ways may you have the freedom that comes from being delivered of this world the freedom and the blessing and the abundant life that comes from walking with with sight no longer spiritually blind ears to hear and eyes to see i pray that for you brothers and sisters may god guide you feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions i'm happy to help you um, I just had to get this video out because 
it's the last days. So, as we always say on this channel, and everything we say and do, may the Lord Jesus be magnified.